All right, welcome back, second grade. We are on day five in our reading packets, and so this video will cover day 5A, day 5B, so make sure you pause in the middle, and so you can come back and do half of it today, half of it tomorrow. And so, again, quick reminders, you should be reading every day, including reading that you're doing at night, epic reading that you can log in, move up that super improver list, because I can see who is logging in and who is doing that reading work along with your other resources that you have both online and books at home all right parents again remember it's expected that you read with your child this is important in their growth uh, to have that discussion time so talk about whether books are fiction or nonfiction. Uh, make sure they're retelling what happened in the book trying to give those details talking about their favorite parts and making connections. We've been talking about text to self. So does the book remind them of something that they did? Text to text, does it remind them of something else that they've read before? Or text to world, if it's not another text and it's not something they did, it would be a text to world connection. All right, today's reading is called Macy the Elephant. And so as you get into your reading today, we'll pull it up here for you. It should look just like this, okay? And so Macy and her parents are gonna have a problem in the story and you're gonna be reading about what that problem is. And so make sure you're reading carefully. Remember when you're all done with your reading, stop, pause the video, okay? Make sure you read carefully and then we'll come back to the questions. So that reading part is important right now. So make sure you read carefully, work on any of those unknown words on how to attack those words. Again, seeking help from other adults that you might have on words that you're stuck on. Remember the work that we've done in foundations and phonics that will help you through those words and tapping out through those sounds. So make sure you're doing that, okay? When you're all done reading, you'll be able to come back to this video and we're gonna talk about those questions. So go ahead and pause that video now, come back when you have finished reading and we will work on the questions. All right, welcome back. And so we are going to work on our questions today. Again, today we expected are expected to do questions one through five on our sheet, which will just be this front side. So make sure that you're going back to the text and you are reading carefully and then checking to see if you have evidence in your the text that supports which answer you chose. So if you are uh, the parent or grandparent that's working with the child, make sure that they can say, okay, here's where I found information in the text to help me. Today, we are going to give you a little extra help on question number two. It says, what main problem do Macy and her parents face? So we're looking at what is the problem in the story? They give you three options here. They are too tired and must find a place to rest. They are too hot and must find a way to cool down. Or they are too hungry and must find something to eat. So you'll want to go back to the text and you want to look for clues that will help you out. And so as we are in our reading, it says right here, the family of elephants walks around to look for a way to cool down. And you'll see that in your reading after that, it's all about that search for cooling and down. Okay. And so that will help you. Letter B for number two, by using our text, it can help us to find that answer. All right. So go ahead and stop right there for today. You'll pause your video. You will come back tomorrow. We will work on the rest of our questions. And so good job. Keep up the great work. We will see you tomorrow, which will be Friday. All right, it is Friday, April 10th. We are on reading day 5B, and so we're gonna finish up our questions in our packet today. And so again, we're gonna remind you to do that epic reading, uh, 
at home, you can log in just like you do at school. And of course, doing other reading of Storyline Online, Hoopla, Audible.com that's giving free books away right now, plus all the books that you have at your home. So lots of ways to get resources into your house. Again, parents, I know it's Friday, but we still need to read aloud with our child. It's important, so make sure it's getting done. So make sure you're having that discussion about which kind of book it is. Make sure they're retelling. Make sure they're giving about their favorite part and making connections as we've been working on this week. All right. We want to go back to our reading of Macy the Elephant. We want to reread it. Parents listening to see it. It is it sounding a little more smooth in their reading? Are they smoothly reading through the text? Are they still getting stuck on some things? So this would be a great time to work on that because rereading is an important skill that we often overlook. And so we try to do that often in the classroom. So make sure that's happening at home. Okay. So I'm gonna get have you stop the video for a minute. So just pause and then go ahead and reread, work on that. And when you're ready, you can come back and we will work on our questions. So go ahead and pause it now, and we'll be back in just a moment. All right, you should have had questions one through five done yesterday. Today, you are going to do questions six through 10. We always remind you that question 10 is on the back side of the paper, so don't miss that one as you are working through. All right, again, we try to give you a little bit of help on a question, just as a big thank you for tuning in and being responsible with your work. So let's take a look at question six today. It says, read these sentences from the text. Macy sees a group of orangutans lazily lying on the branches of a big tree. They don't even move as the elephants walk past. Too hot to do anything. Lazily. Hmm, I see a suffix added onto that word, and I can think about what I know about the word lazy. So, as used in the sentence, what does the word lazily mean? Does it mean doing things done quickly and energetically? If you're lazy, you're not doing things quick. You're not being energetic. Letter B, done with purpose and determination. We've talked about determination in class. This being lazy is not an example of determination. So letter C, done with little or no effort. Hopefully you are not feeling the urge to be lazy. So lazily would be letter C, done with little or no effort. All right. Friends, you are, have the remaining questions, including question 10, which is on the back. Notice on those lines, write neatly, carefully, so you can get your work turned in and the teacher can see. Make sure you're reading your answers back to your family members so you can see if your questions make sense. Adults, make sure that they are answers that match up with things that match evidence in the text for them. All right. Hopefully you get those questions done. So you uh, can go ahead and work on those questions as this video is over. Good job, thank you for completing day five, Macy the Elephant. And so hopefully you got all your work done. Make sure you keep reading, keep improving, keep growing, and we will check in with you next time.